Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. The witness transferred uh, a bunch of captives oh. to a prison ship in near orbit. It believes they are unreachable to us. Huh. Maybe it ain't so smart after all. <laughs> My bad. Uh, I'm a week late on this one. Uh, I didn't really get to play the story last week. I was really busy with raid stuff. I feel real lucky Even after uh, the day of the realities. first weekend. Quite right. Catching up on triumphs and whatnot. Who think the material plane is the only one. Sometimes I envy them. Yeah, sometimes ignorance is bliss. Whoa, Especially shit. Comes to the I don't know what just happened there. Oh. All right, we're dead. Anyway, now I can finish my intro. Uh, we're doing a little bit of a double feature today, so it's a, this episode's probably going to be a little bit longer. We're going to try and knock out last week's mission and this week's mission. We're rocking our Strand Hunter build this time. Uh, if you guys want me to go through the build, let me know in the comments. I can start doing that at the beginning of my videos. But right now, this video is already going to be long enough, so we gotta move our butts. So, we went from the farm, took a portal into the Ascendant Plane. We're going to uh, a facility that has prisoners that's in Earth's orbit, I believe is what it said. And they didn't think we can get in. So here we are. Oh shit. Alright, this is not looking good. Damn! Sorry, I'm just warming up. I haven't touched my hunter in a little bit. Let's blow some shit up. Clear out the taken defenses to continue your ascent. I got the two-tailed fox catalyst. I'm trying to get it. The third tail. Wow, they didn't kill him. He did. Hey, guys, come here. Give me the thing. Grab the tangle. Good job. Hold that. I've been rocking my my no composure for a lot of my of the content that we we've, we've been playing through because uh, volatile flow is an extremely powerful mod this season, and there's so many ways to get orbs now. So we pick up an orb and boom, we have volatile rounds. And volatile rounds on a fusion rifle is insane because every individual projectile can trigger volatile. So that tells me we're supposed to throw that. All right, that worked. All right, hit back, guys. We're supposed to do that to all these? I guess so. Yeah. Oh, we've got a we've got an exit. Or so I thought. That must be the prison ship huh. in the distance. Looks All right, this like is crazy. If the Guardians keep up like this, they're gonna put us pilots out of a job. I know how you feel. I've traded fire with a Cabal for hours just to watch a Guardian destroy them in seconds. <laughs> it's not a question of efficiency. It's about heart. Without people like you holding us together, we'd be back in the Dark Ages. Hmm. See, I like this little alliance we got. Uh... One of the reasons I like these battlegrounds and what they're doing with Season of Defiance is that all our forces are finally coming together. The only ones we don't, we're not seeing are obviously the Cabal because they're dealing with stuff on Neo Muna. But we've got our Lixnees, our, our normal humans, all the Guardians, all working together to try and get shit done. Just like Crow just said. That's really, really dope to me. I don't know where the rest of my fire team is, but it's all right. All local defense forces are converging on your position. Stay alert for any carrying access codes that could speed up your hack. Hey, we did it.
Scouts report increased activity in the hangar. Perhaps they're trying to evacuate the captives? It's more likely they're falling back to an area with air support. That's what I would do. You pilots are all the same. Air support is your answer to everything. Damn right. Otherwise, we wouldn't have any infantry left to buy us drinks. <laughs> I'm at a holiday. Hilarious. I'm glad they're doing more with her. More than just making her, you know, the ship vendor. <laughs> Bam. Oh crap. Wait, what the hell? My health. Is there a safe spot? Over here. Get in here. Okay, we're good. Thank you, Strand. I swear, Strand's been saving my life lately. Alright, we got a boss we can't damage. And then a target over there. I miss. I'm gonna freaking die. See, we good. I wasn't scared at all. My God. Let's say the bad guy vanished. Cra Brachus Cravum? Cravum? Shit, I knew it as soon as I fell. Thank you. You are a gentleman and a scholar. All right, went to repeat. Hey, why is there a dark disc crystal over here? Okay, we got another bale fire. Far so good. One down, one to go. Alright, we gotta actually hit him with this. There we go. Now it's one down, one to go. I hope I picked that up. I did not. Of course I didn't. That's annoying. There we go. Uh, Nani? 
Damn, we had to get three to break his shield this time? That's kind of silly. I messed up that jump. Alright, what's up? I don't know how you died, but I appreciate your sacrifice. All right, easy clap. That might have been the easiest battleground that we've done so far. Let's go save the civilians. We did it. Have definitely earned themselves a round of drinks back in the city. Next round's on me. Well, me and Glint. Gonna be a while before any of them can take you up on that. They're pretty banged up. Well, that's okay. I can wait. All right, let's go see Amanda and Mithrax on the farm. Hey, Guardian. Oh. We were just grabbing a little Here we go. time. Gotta celebrate your successes, you know? Amanda told me we must not forget to kick it back. Huh. Oh, we have accomplished much and saved many lives. Mithrax is one of my favorite right. side characters, too, so I'm glad that he's... Chilling out in this season. Please don't tell folks I said that. But yeah, we're a team. Huh, there's an A and an M, Amanda and Mithrax. You splice through. We are in this together. It is a privilege to join you. You and the Vanguard welcomed us as honored guests in your city. Guests? The city is your home. When I first showed up at the gates, I felt like I belonged. That's how it should be for everyone. Ah. I had thought you were born there. Nope. I got there later. Same as you. Amanda, you know our story, but I would very much like to hear yours. Ah. I would like to know more about Amanda, too. Oh, cutscene? I grew up on the road. Long as I could remember, my family had been walking toward the last city. My mama told me we'd be safe there. She said that was all that mattered. But at the time, all that mattered to me were the jump ships in the sky above. Mm. I thought they were the greatest thing I'd ever seen. My folks tried their best. But the road's a dangerous place. When the House of Winter attacked, my mom uh, fought him off best she could. For everybody to know, the House of Winter the was a fallen house. Pneumonia got my daddy not long after. Mm. I'd heard tales of people resurrected, chosen for immortality, but not them. They were just gone. That is when sad. I finally reached the last city, I knew my mama was right. I'd be safe there. The Vanguard. Damn, I miss I Cade. I learned to fly as soon as I could reach the stick. I never had powers like the Guardians or a ghost to resurrect me. But in the cockpit, I'm every inch as tough. Hell yeah. Now, every time I fly, I remember where I came from and who I'm fighting for. And that's all that matters. Yeah, that's awesome. And I love how she waved to herself. Come a long way, huh? Yes, we have. No, oh. that's cool. Hell 
of a time on that Shadow Legion ship, wasn't it? Of course, I joined for other mm -hmm. reasons, too. When you heard the story, I needed a home, a family, some place to belong, just like Mithrax. He's amazing to work with. He's always so gentle around the tower. I forget he's an Elixni war captain. Hmm. But man, I that used to murder people left and right. Tackling those prison transports. But once, he got jumped by two legionaries, and when I turned to help, he just shouted, "You need not waste your shells." Fucking <laughs> Mithrax. Bastard, and I absolutely love it. Bringing the fight to them for a change? That's the kind of thing I joined the Vanguard for. He's the best patrol partner I've had in years. But I gotta keep our comms closed. Last week. Devram heard me call him Craw Daddy. Nearly laughed himself unconscious. Craw Daddy. That's funny. Is that a grenade launcher? Huh. Oh. Aramis. I spared your life and you used it to return to your hate and violence. I will not thank you for your mercy or ask for your forgiveness. But I am not your enemy. Nani? This way before. I do believe your lies then. I will not do so now. I saved your daughter's life. I know she is the future of the Elixni. The machine spawn will never allow us that future. Again and again they cut us down. When we seek to unify our houses, when we seek power for ourselves, they will never see you as their equal. And you believe that we are equals? You bow to the weakness and a god of a hive. We are the leaders of our people, and we must find power where we can. You did the same when you chose to live amongst those who have slaughtered us for centuries. Oof. I have ended that violence. It has not ended. You just live behind our enemy's walls. Your house relies on hope as much as mine does. Mm. I want us to be free. To be gentle and care for each other. I want us to be weavers and dancers again. That is why you did not kill me. Because you want this as well. But until we control our own future, the Elixni will never be these things again. Aramis is such an interesting character. See, that was cool. That, that was a very interesting conversation. But that was, that was last week's mission. Now we're going to go knock out this week's mission real quick. Let's get it. All right, guys, we're starting this week's mission. Oh, shit. So, apparently, we've got another distress signal. Oh. Aramis. She's really trying to protect Mithrax now. As I was saying, uh, Amanda and Mithrax found more captives in this mission and they called for backup because uh, of how overrun with Cabal it is. They told us we can't even use our Sparrow because it would alert the enemy, which is a little annoying, but it is what it is. Sorry, we got Strand to give us a little speed. I see you, Guardian. Nice. I'm in the surveillance room above. I'm splicing the security network now. I will soon locate the captives. Alright, so far so good. So I'm wondering if this is some kind of trap, because Aramis warning Mithrax, that was not something I expected. And I didn't come into this mission 100% blind. Oh shit, it's a tormentor. 
I didn't come to this mission 100% blind. My buddy told me that this mission was a doozy. That this week's story mission was kind of nuts. And so far this mission is pretty cool. I didn't. Ex I did not expect a tormentor at all. But let's see if we can uh, put this bad boy to sleep. Oh my god! All right, we need to recover. Bitch. shoulders that work I don't think so nope well we got one shoulder oh my god we're gonna die la di da Alright, where the hell is this thing? Alright. Wait. Did he leave? Did he actually leave to go after our allies? Was that what that message on the, on the said? Alright, where to now? I don't like this noise. What's this noise? Oh, great. Looks like you ain't done yet. This is a tactic of desperation. You near victory, Guardian. I hate when the Taken start coming out. Alright, where am I supposed to go? Oh, the torment is back. He dodged it. Oh my god, he's tanky. Where he at? Come on, boy. Come get your licks. Bam. Take some damage. No. No, not the thing. Not the thing. Oh, my God. That hurt. Run. About the super ass. Nope. Be gone. Let's go. He's gonna suppress us. Fuck! I tried to get out of there. And we missed our mail. It. That's fine. Nope. God damn it, we missed again. Just die already. God damn. There we go. That's a way too goddamn long. Can I get up there? We are nearly ready for extraction. Gotcha. As soon as the Guardian secures the hatch, we'll get everyone the hell out of here. Yeah. Oh, we got a cutscene cutscene. I'm here. In position? Tell me Mithra is gonna fuck somebody up. 
Come with me. Quickly. It's gone into lockdown. We're trapped. I'm on it. I still love that she has the chaperone. Classic weapon. No, 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 Where's Amanda? So wait, did they set that shit to blow up? Amanda, come in. Man, Amanda. how are you just gonna spend this whole month making us attached to Amanda and then just kill her off? She's been around for what? The entire lifespan of Destiny? Sure, she was just a ship vendor, but now you wanna do cool shit with her and then you just wanna go and kill her off? Nah. Nah. Like, I didn't even think about it until just now, but what's going to happen with Crow when he finds out? I'm already even here. Oh, what's, what's this? Oh, shit. Mar and Crow. Bravery. Sacrifice. Oh, Zavala. Devotion. Bravery. Sacrifice. Guardian, Zavala grieves, and... Misrax is recovering in the infirmary. How do you want to proceed? We have to regroup. Bury Amanda. And put her killers in the ground. They'll be expecting you. Good. Think with your head, not your heart. Grief is poor counsel. He's furious. Is better. Oof. Make arrangements for Amanda. The Guardian and I will handle it from here. If that's your wish. It is. Oh. I know you want it too. Vengeance. You'll be oh. the first to know when it's time. He sounds crazy right now. And this is just heartbreaking. Not like not only did we lose Amanda, but to have Zavala saying that and Zavala on his knees after what just happened in the Destiny community. Rest in peace. It's the Lance Reddick. But god damn. This is just too much. I have lived for centuries upon centuries, Guardian. Though death has not lost its sting, it is a ritual whose movements are familiar to me. It has become easier to bear. But seeing loss twist the faces of those around me. Zavala, my brother, that is not. Amanda's absence will be felt deeply by those of us who knew her. 
Despair will be at our side where a friend once stood. So while it does not lighten the burden, let us hold this pain together. And when you lift your eyes, may you look only upon kind faces. Oh, that, that I need hits to focus home on too. The now. When the time comes to strike back, we must all be strong. As strong as Amanda Holiday. Title. She sacrificed herself so that I could live. It is a great guilt. Her death was no sacrifice. Holiday died for her own convictions, not ours. Amanda could not be counseled otherwise, nor would she have been. This was her choice, and we must remember it with respect. They understand so well. is indelicate hmm. that is her grief and this is mine as leaders we feel loss too often I will not tell you not to mourn bear your sorrow Misrax but set aside your guilt let her memory inspire let her conviction light our way well said queen of the awoken Cabal carve our tusks with our victories, and they are recounted at our funeral rites. Holiday's victories will be remembered always. Ooh. Yeah, this my buddy wasn't wasn't lying. This was a doozy. Oh. Oh man. And to reiterate what Mara said about you know us coming together to share the pain you know so when you look up you see a bunch of smiling faces for anybody that uses tiktok or has been on youtube the amount of support the destiny community has gotten from the gaming community the anime community fucking everybody and their mother it's been insane obviously it hurts with the loss and this missions and Amanda Holiday's timing couldn't have been worse. <laughs> but we are not alone and we do this shit together. But man, this season story has been pretty good and I can't wait to see what Crow's gonna do next week because he looks crazy. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Let me know your thoughts down in the comments. If you guys want to check me out on social media, those links are down below. That's it for me. I'll catch you guys next video. Later.